We're here at AUSA 2019 and I'm speaking with Jim Miller, Director of Business Development, Combat Vehicles, BAE Systems. Correct. Jim, um, we are standing beside an example of the US Army's M109A6 Paladin Howitzer. I believe it's a vehicle that they have done some upgrade work on and have recently contracted BAE Systems to, to, to some further work on. Could you tell us a little bit about the program, its history, and, and where you think it will be heading? Sure, absolutely. So um, I think you're tracking probably the Army has a couple priorities, six major priorities that they're going after for future modernization in the U.S. Army. One of those is called Long Range Precision Fires. And as part of that, there's a program that's called the Extended Range Cannon Artillery Program. We refer to it as IRCA as the acronym. Uh, this vehicle is part of that IRCA program. Uh, the Army started with the M1090A6, as you said, as a base prototype, and they put a longer range gun on this, uh, this vehicle and modified it, and they've done a great deal of testing on the vehicle now uh, to kind of prove the base concept that they can get extended range, additional range out of the howitzer with the longer gun that they've put on it. Uh, we are now under contract. We're the, uh, we're the original equipment manufacturer of this gun, but we're also currently fielding the M109A7 PIM, which is the, the latest version of this howitzer. And the contract we have with the Army now is to help them move this prototype onto that chassis so they can go test that chassis and build a couple prototypes and decide how the program moves forward from there. So that's, uh, that's the, the, the base summary of what we're doing here. Pretty excited about it because it's the number one priority for the U.S. Army right now. Now, this may be something that you cannot answer, but as I understand it, that's a, a 58 caliber gun. The original vehicle has a 39 caliber gun. Um, what are the improvements one might see when swapped from one to the other? Sure. So, the, yeah, the details on the gun, I, I can't confirm those, but we have basically uh, extended the range or the length of the gun and doubled it. So, and the, the idea is with that additional range, uh, I mean, with that additional length, you get additional range. That's uh, kind of basic ballistics. And, uh, and so the Army's really hoping to push out this gun. Uh, the goal is to get it to 70 kilometers. And uh, that's, uh, that's, that's the goal that they think they've achieved now. And the question is, what can we do beyond that? And that's the next steps uh, in the program. At the, uh, I think the Army would be glad to talk you through that whole set of tests and that development they're going after and the reasons they're going after it. Um, and our part just continues to be, how do we move that to the newest chassis and help them get after those tests? And how long does your contract last with BAE before you know it should be integrated and up and running as a prototype? Yeah, we have a very short schedule, and again, I'll defer to the Army to describe the schedule to you. Um, but it's it, we're going to move fast because this is a priority for the Army. We're going to ensure they meet their deadlines and their schedule, and we're very optimistic that they're going to get this faster than what they require. And and does. BAE's contract uh, involve any modification to the ammunition package? Uh, no, it doesn't. There's a separate project, as I understand it, that the Army can talk you through on what they're doing about the ammunition. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.